Hello and welcome to your Othello School District Weekend Update. It's been a sad week in Othello as we received news that Mary Jo Harvey, a longtime social studies teacher at Othello High School, died on Thursday after battling cancer. Her OHS colleagues and friends remember Mary Jo as a person of incredible kindness who was always among the first to step in to offer help when it was needed. Mary Jo's husband, Cameron, also teaches at OHS and her two sons both attend the school as well. There's a vacancy on the Othello School District Board of Directors and time is running out for interested parties to submit their applications to fill the seat. Position 5 is an at-large seat vacated when Mike Garza resigned in December. Applicants only need to live within our district boundaries and be registered to vote in the state of Washington. Please send a resume, letter of interest, and at least three references to Marissa Garza at 1025 South 1st Avenue in Othello by the end of the day on January 17th. You can also email marissagarza at otheloschools.org. The Board of Directors will conduct candidate interviews in a public meeting before selecting a nominee. The successful applicant will fill the seat for the remainder of Mr. Garza's term, which expires at the end of this year. The replacement of Othello School District's Educational Programs and Operations Levy will be on the February 14th ballot. This is not a new tax. We estimate that the levy rate will be $1.50 per $1,000 in assessed property value. Property owners can calculate their cost by dividing their assessed value by $1,000 and then multiplying that number by $1.5. Current assessment values can be found online at adamswa taxsifter publicaccessnow.com. The levy supports a wide variety of programs and services in our district, including staff salaries and benefits, athletics, arts, music, student activities, technology, district operations, facility maintenance, and student counseling and safety. Ballots must be postmarked by 8 p.m. on February 14th. More information about the levy, including a two-minute informational video, is available at otheloschools.org slash levies. Technology is a major item that our levy helps support. I visited Devin Lewis's Intro to Robotics class at McFarland Middle School this week to see how they're using technology in exciting and fun ways. Visiting Devin Lewis's Intro to Robotics class at McFarland Middle School isn't always a quiet experience. Today, they're wrapping up a robot sumo tournament using robots they designed and built. So sumo robots is kind of our culmination to the entire class. They've learned a lot about torque and speed and strength and um, finding ways to create traction on their robots. Get set, go. The sumo competition pairs robots with human drivers against each other in a ring. It's a test of strength and strategy to see which robot is the strongest. And so this very last competition is they get to take all of that knowledge that we've learned all year and turn it into a robot of their complete design of their own. They get to design everything they want and um, see who wins. We had to do offense and defense. The offense to either push them away, grab them or tip them over. Defense or, yeah, defense is to try not to get tipped over, not pushed around, stuff like that. The Sumo Challenge gave students the opportunity to work in teams to learn how to collaborate. I used to do everything by myself and it was really good having like the whole team come together and build a really cool robot. Even though they're having a lot of fun, students in the class are learning the basics of an important career opportunity. Robotics engineering careers are projected to experience rapid growth in the coming decade. OSD students have the opportunity to continue pursuing their interest in robotics at the high school level as well. Othello School District will conduct a sale of surplus items on January 20th. A list of available items is posted at otheloschools.org. Sealed bids can be delivered to our district office at 1025 South 1st Avenue by January 20th. Items can be viewed on the 18th from 9.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. and again from 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. For more information, please call Greg Foltz at 509-488-6336. It was a busy week in sports. Girls Wrestling took part in the Marysville Duel Tournament and came home with a 42-36 win over Arlington. Our boy wrestlers earned a fourth place spot in the Gut Check Crew Competition, and they participated in the Jeremiah Schmunk Crew Meet as well. Troy Mendez, Anthony Solario, and Giovanni Love earned champion titles in their weight classes. It was another mixed week in basketball. Our boys fell 49-63 on the road against East Valley, while the girls brought home a 60-37 win. At home versus Ellensburg, our boys won 70 to 65 Friday night in overtime, while the girls fell 60 to 37 to the number one ranked Lady Bulldogs. 
All of our high school and middle school sports schedules and results can be found online at OthelloAthletics.com. We're looking at a relatively mild and dry weather week. High temperatures should be in the mid-40s, with lows in the mid-20s to mid-30s. There's no school on Monday, January 16th, as we observe Martin Luther King Jr. Day. That's your weekend update. Thanks for watching.